Okay, so now I'm going to show you one of the dirty. I think this is absolutely the dirtiest move in Jiu-Jitsu and it's going to piss off a lot of people. You can, you can catch them with this. Basically, it's like a high risk and high reward move. So, and you can only do this if you're blue belt ball. Don't do it to white belt, okay? But because it's only white belt, so it's still white belt, so yeah. So, inside control. What the guy on top doesn't want is for me to have this, this frame and this hand inside. He doesn't want that. So if I give him this, he feels safe, he feels secure. So I have to get this hand like this first, okay? Outside of his hip. Because, why? Because you will see. And, and he also doesn't want my forearm to be on his neck. This is a frame and this on top. So I'm just gonna be like a little bit stupid. I'm gonna put it in his forehead. So what he sees now is an Americana. This is an Americana here. So he's going to take the Americana. Okay, your right weapon is good to go. Now, as you feel that he's getting the Americana, you want to bend his uh, hand like this. Bend his hand. And you're going to catch. And you're going to tap his elbow with your head. And then you're going to pull his, uh, this hand, this folded hand towards you. It's going to play the wrist lock. Okay? Now, the good thing about this, if, he's, if, he, if he traps up, this is going to be this. But if he knows uh, that I'm about to risk lock him, his defense is he will stand up. He will stand up. He's giving me access to recover my gun. So it's a win win solution whether I tap him up or I escape the bottom side control position. Okay? Us. Us.